I just watched this video. A very touching video. And I've heard stories of the same thing happening, women telling their kids for sex. Um, and I've also heard of men accepting the offer and turning the woman in. It's sad that in this case, a child died. But even more sad is the father losing his daughter because he thought the right thing to do was to let the baby be around its mother. I want to leave the link over on the side. I don't want to dwell on this video because I didn't, you know, grab all the uh, information. But I like the way this man put the video together so I don't have to make one. To listen to this story is pretty sad because I'm going to get to one point and I'm going to get to one point easy. I want you to read the comments because... I know I keep on going back to saying black and white and this and that and what's gonna hurt me the most is because of what people will take from the story now Junebug Obama has not been a pro-black person as far as the videos I've seen I believe Junebug Obama may be a plant to make black people look bad on YouTube but that's just my opinion but this story had to be told I just don't want the story to become a black and white story because the father is white the mother is black the perpetrators of this crime are black this is a crime against a child that translate to a crime against the future and a crime against the future has no colors not black not white and this man did make a grave mistake in judgment but he made a mistake for the right reasons even though some people don't see it right now like that it was a mistake that you know I wish he didn't make because a part of my future is gone now because this kid is no longer here she may have been come the doctor that finds the cure for AIDS and or cancer she could be the person to discover a planet out in the solar system suitable for human life. She could have been the next greatest great of the greatest of whatever great may be. But her life was snuffed out by a decision by her mother and not the father's decision to let the child go with her black mother. Her mother. There are women who are mentally ill across this country from coast to coast. There are women who buckle their babies into the cars and roll it down, you know, the, 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 the dock. There are women who throw their babies over the bridges. There are women who put their babies in dumpsters right after birth. It is bad when we have come to a day and age where life itself means nothing to anyone just another hit of crack just another bag of meth take my son please let me get the keys let me get a couple shots in my arm take my daughter society has a sickness you can't blame drugs you can't blame anyone you have to blame mental illness why do we think that we need to get high in order to deal with regular everyday life why are minds so fractured that people fall off the deep end when reality kicks in now when my father died I flipped out I went on a bender like no other what did I say? I took myself to that top and I got to the top and I looked over and saw everything that was at the bottom was actually at the same level at the top. When you flip out and you lose your way and you turn towards something you don't need, you're weak because reality itself 
is too much for the mind to bear and you end up doing the wrong thing should this woman suffer for her five-year-old daughter being sold for sex and found on the side of the road dead she should burn but not like that guy says she should burn in his video she should be placed in a room where her daughter's face is projected on every wall constantly no bed no eyelids to close your eyes just a memory of the child you let go for sex whatever for drugs whatever she needs to see her daughter's life constantly straight constantly mirrored until it's seared into the back of her mind what she did to everybody not just the baby daddy who has the biggest burden to bear gave his child back to the mother for a visit or whatever go be with your mother learn who your mother is learn the other side of your existence and for that his daughter is gone the most precious gifts a man can have is a daughter you all want a son. Oh, I just can't wait to have a son. But we all pray for a daughter. Somebody who we can look after. Somebody who we can protect. Somebody who will love us when our wives and women don't. A female to love us unequivocally. Someone to die for. No man should have to see his daughter placed in the casket. Let alone one he can carry by himself. The burden is too big for anybody to even imagine or think of the loss of a child. So please, don't make this a color thing. Make this a mental illness thing. Because that black lady was fucking crazy for what she did. And she should burn. Every man involved should die. Or they should be made to, what's the word, castrate themselves. Forced castration by firing squad. That girl was found to be molested or raped. Bad enough she's been murdered because of somebody wanting to sell her for a few dollars, a few hits. They should be forced at firing squad to castrate themselves, all organs, from the front to the back or back to the front, and then be allowed to be placed in general population. I would give these people three years for every hour she was missing. in general population. They'd be tattooed. Be forced to, to wear their crimes. Because no child ever, 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 ever deserves what this child got at the hands of her mother. So, I'm going to leave the link over to the side. I'd like to thank June Bug Obama for bringing this to my attention. And I'd like people to follow the story and understand there are more sick people out there over our shoulder than we know it.